people tag action and um well a, a clash of the giants that's what this one is a clash of giants on one side you've got Broly and the Arbiter on the other side you've got Double Z Of course, Double Z will be looking to Double Z will be looking to send a message, of course, to their number one contenders, for the tag team gold. Of course, the brothers of the heart, the Deadly Saints, and the Wild Ones. They'll, of course, have the team battle at Golden Ambitions. here ready to go as always but his tag team partner never really tell with him whether he's ready to go or not of course I was talking to um I was actually talking to Rex earlier many of you may know but Rex is our executive vice president for talent talent relations and recruitment and uh, he once again found that Arbiter was well what he thought was just hearing the voices again but apparently now it's not just voices but visions are now entering the head of the Arbiter as if it wasn't bad enough Arbiter are here. Ready as always. Sonny looks like it, but who knows what's going on in his mind right now. Of course, he's got a big statement to make to uh, Dasan, of course, the world champion, and Jack Stanbridge, the, uh, the other number one contender for the world title. They, of course, clash in a elimination-style match for the world title. Here, of course, is Double Z. First off, Zinyak. Of course, ever since they claimed the tag team gold at Crash and Burn, they proved themselves to be predominant with them. And of course, it would be announced by Ogumon, Gabumon, and Jeff Hardy that it would be a team battle, just as it was at last year's Golden Ambitions. You may remember it was Zoloark and Reptile, the Pokemon Brotherhood, the Star Pilots, and the CPA. This time round, we have Double Z. Consisting of Zinyak and this guy, Zavok. The Brothers of the Heart, of course, Mewtwo and Tails. The Deadly Saints, Firestar, Heart, and Johnny Gat. And the Wild Ones, Randy Lee and the Wildcat. 
Of course, it was originally thought to be a two-horse race for the number one contenders between the Brothers of the Heart and the Deadly Saints. But after the Wild Ones won Tag Team of the Year... It ended up throwing the race open again. Ogumon, Gabumon and Jeff Hardy would make it a team battle. Anyway, here is Zavok. And despite, he's, despite the fact that he's lighter than Zinyak, he ends up actually, in my honest opinion, being the more dominant of the two. I mean, Zinyak, don't get me wrong, he's a strong guy, he's 400 pounds, but he's smart as well. Not to say Zavok isn't, but Zavok is more of an all-out attacker, whereas Zinyak is more calculating with his attacks. He thinks a lot more about the attacks he's going to use, whereas Zavok is just an all-out attacker. Of course, as I've already said, it's really as a battle of the giants in this one, with um, one team carrying both the heaviest and the lightest person. That's, of course, Broly and the Arbiter, respectively. Broly, 530 pounds. And Arbiter, 340. Last we weighed him. Oh! But I've got to wonder if what Zinyak... I mean, sorry, not Zinyak. Uh, Rex told me earlier, but now the Arbiter's having visions. But his past is coming back to haunt him. I've got to wonder if he's going to be in the mental state to really fight at Golden Ambitions, particularly if this gets any worse. I asked Rex about what it was that triggered it, and it was the obvious reason. Shadow had been dropped off back at uh, Cupid, not Cupid, um, CXWI Management HQ by the Cupists, and Arbiter saw the ship take off, and as he saw it, he began to question once again how much longer he thinks he can wait. You know, it's one of the things that a lot of people have been saying, particularly myself, some of the other members of management, even Austin Yu has, and Austin Yu has, and Samus, Alyssa's also said it. They've just tried to reassure the Arbiter that he will get them one day. And I know that Arbiter feels that way, but I've got to wonder how long he will feel that way. He's even, according to Rex, he's even questioned it himself. I have to be very honest about something right now. I, at times, I generally fear the Arbiter. Well, I probably fear him anyway, but he's just, particularly right now, given how, I guess you could say, fragile his mind has become, how, how liable he is to just snapping. Gotta wonder. Really, I've got to wonder. At what point would it break to the point where it becomes un unfixable? To be honest, I've got to pray it doesn't get to that stage. You see, right now, obviously, he seems to be controlling himself now. He seems to be pretty focused on the match. There's a lot going on in that mind of his. I can just tell. You can sometimes tell by the look in the Arbiter's eyes the chaos that's going on inside his head. And now, Oaken Rana there by the Arbiter, and broken there, cover broken up by Zinyak. The referee got to try and maintain some control in this one because he's starting to lose it. Nice shoulder tackle. Up to the top. Nice. Done. Oh. Nice shot there. Look out. Nice. Look at this now. Double team there by Double Z. And Zavok now starting to maintain control. Of 
Charles. Interestingly, we got the two lighter people as the two legal men. 340. One, the Arbiter. Two. And 375. Zavok. Zinyak. 400. And Broly. 530. Broly so far the heaviest person in CXWI so far. Not the heaviest of all time though. Or Naga takes that record. At his peak in CXWI, he was around 620 pounds. Of course, I still remember the debut that Onaga made following the end of Golden Ambitions 1 after the, um, after the just fantastic Iron Man match between Mew and Mewtwo, in which Mew would become the first person to defeat Mewtwo for the title. He would, um, Celebration would be cut short by Yonaga taking Mew out. Of course, leading to a vacation of the title. It would end up becoming between Mewtwo and Lucario. Lucario would end up victorious. While Tour would go on, JSR would win the belt in India. And end up turning the crowd against him because he felt he just got the shot because it was in India. And it turned the crowd in favour of a long-time heel. Waluigi! He won the title off of JSR at the very next show, which was in Norway. See now? Nice! Zinyak now. Taking an offense to the Arbiter. Nicely done that at Flapjack. And Arby right now might be in trouble. Oh! Low blow! Nicely done that. Nice! Look at this now, a cable clutch applied! And Broly breaks it. And right now, Zavok and Broly now going at it, and you got Zinyak and Arbiter. Oh, look out! Nicely done! Nice. And now, Arbiter, oh, booted in the stomach by Zinyak. Nice shot there. Got a wonder right now if the Sun and, and Jack are watching this one. Keeping that close eye on the Arbiter and also the tag team contenders. They're probably going to be watching as well. Keeping their eye on Double Z. There's a missed! And there's the kick! And Zinyak also takes the clobber egg from it! And now Arbiter and Broly looking... Oh! Wait a minute, just as I say that though! Oh wait, maybe still! Oh, landing the kick! The tag is made, Broly comes in! And looks to go right after Zavok, he's not the legal guy though! Zinyak is, and never mind! Look at this now, Broly. Uh oh! Oh man, got it! And now, I think trying to go for. I think tried the same on Sabbath there, and. He was looking for that uh, genocide grenade. And now, oh look at that! Not a knee smash there! Wasn't able to get that though, and Zavok now tagged in. 
I don't think Broly has realized yet. Oh, and he gets hung on the ropes. Probably wouldn't be the first time he was hung. Oh, God. Zavok. Choke slam. Try to cover. Stopped there by Arbiter. And once again, Zinyak comes in to make the offense. Broly now. Trying to take the offense to Zabak and look out! Armbar applied! And the ref has got to try and get some control in this one. Oh, but look at this, Broly, a choke slam! And Broly now. Oh, God. Zavok. Choke slam. Zinyak there, you see, taking Arbiter around. A cover being made now by Zavok. Two, three. And it's a win. For the tag champions. Take a look at this. The tag champs definitely roll with the momentum now, but here's how. A choke slam made by Zavok. Puts Broly away. And Zinyak just ensuring the Arbiter couldn't have got involved to stop the cover. Ensures them the win. Oh, wait a minute! What the sword? The sword out here! Look at this right now! A Broly get back up and he gets clobbered! Oh god, a tombstone! Oops, don't pile driver on Arbiter. Oh, God. There's one on Broly as well. And now what? Oh, ring bell in hand. There's clubbers. Arbiter with a no club as Broly. And Broly there just getting sent. Straight over the top. Dasani laying both of them out. Taking one there for both himself and for Coopism. Laying Arbiter and Broly down. Jack! There's Jack! Jack Stambridge now! Jack Stambridge on the assault of the sun! Will he clash later in the tag team matchup? But. Uh, I'm guessing that Jack doesn't want to leave the song with the momentum. And who can blame him? Oh, a super kick! Oh, and a shot there. 
And now, oh no! Yeah, go impact on the stage! And the sun right now being clocked! Sauced right onto the arena floor! Adios! And Jack! Suddenly stops the sun from holding momentum! And he takes it for himself! The sun just got Jack! 